A sled and rider gliding over horizontal frictionless ice at 4 meters per second have a combined mass of 80 kilograms. The sled then slides over a rest spot in the ice, slowing down to 3 meters per second. What impulse was delivered to the sled by the friction force from the rough spot? So since we're dealing with impulse in this case, let's go ahead and write down the equations for impulse. So we know that impulse is equal to, or we use the J to symbolize that, I mean. And that's equal to the average force times the change in time. And both of those are also equal to the change in the momentum. And since we're, we have momentum, let's go ahead and write that down too for reference. So we know that momentum is equal to mass times the velocity. So to give us some uh, stuff in the, the question up here, so let's go ahead and write that down so we have it. So we know the mass of the sled and the kick together is 80 kilograms. The initial velocity is 4 meters per second, and the final velocity is 3 meters per second. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use this relationship of what we had up here of how J or impulse is equal to the change in the momentum. So since it's the change in the momentum, if we find the initial P and we find the final P and then we take them and we minus them from each other, that will be our impulse. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have for mass we have 80 kilograms times the initial speed which was 4 meters per second and that is equal to 320 and then we have the final which is 80 that didn't change of course times 3 meters per second and that is equal to 240. Okay, so when we minus these, we end up with 80 newton seconds. Okay, so if you think about this, since the mass didn't change in either of these, we can leave that alone. And if we just take the difference in these velocities, which obviously 4 minus 3 is going to leave us with 1 meter per second, and we just said the mass didn't change, so that's 80 kilograms, that gives us the exact same answer. Okay, so now we have the 80 newton seconds. Let me slide that up real quick. So now if you were to go ahead and plug that in to mastering physics, they would tell you what's wrong. And why would they tell you that's wrong? Well, the reason they would is because our uh, if you remember, delta anything is always equal to final minus initial. So what was our final in this case? It was 240, and our initial was 320, which gives us a negative 80, which makes sense if you think about it. So we're saying that our impulse is equal to a negative 80 newtons times seconds, and that makes sense because the sled is slowing down. So we're losing that from the system, so energy is still conserved.